Okay, so I'm gonna go with this purple. Obviously there's a ton. And I pick this green. This one, so. All right, so we also stopped to get some vents here at the Home Depot. The ones at the house are just pretty much over with. So we're replacing these today. And we gotta go get the paint. Two hours late, pero ya llegó. A ver, hijo de la chu. Ah, anda con el fu. Mira quién me vino a topar al fu. O sea, fu. Y el Booker T. Ah. Sí, güey. A huevo. A que miren todos a qué horas llegaron. Sí. Oh, vienen de Hawái. <risa> Como ahorita que andamos valiendo todo lo que quiere decir Riata aquí en el Hondivo con el compa Booker T. Pues no nos podemos decidir porque el rosita está muy cerca al guinda, ¿cómo se dice este? Moradito. Y luego el verde sí, ese sí está suave. Lo único que estamos atallando es con el, con el morado. Pero yo escogí un amarillo. Así podemos tener más contraste. A ver qué decide el buque T. Pero esta va a ser la aventura aquí del Home Depot. Y aquí nos vamos a ir a enseñar el apartamento. Y luego nos vamos a lanzar a la Peter Piper más tarde. Y luego a brinca brinca. A ver qué dice el Fu. A ver, Fu, tú que sabes más de colores que nosotros. Hijo de su. Saca tu teléfono. No, cállate. Ok, so yo escogí el verde y el amarillo. El Booker T, el Lavender. Y mi compa. El Lavender y el Ah, ¿cómo le hacemos, güey? Mira, yo te voy a decir por qué no quise este. Porque está muy cerca al rosa. Y entonces este le da más juego a los colores porque tienes un poquito de todo. Este está dentro del mismo color. Sí, del otro. Del, del rosa. Es como si agarras un azul bajito y un azul oscuro. ¿Me entiendes? Y el Booker T quiere este a huevo porque, no sé. Porque se mira perro. Esa es mi razón. Mi razón este es que es, me gusta. No, pues está bien. Pero sí como que tal vez... Querías Easter Colors, este es el pinche color del Easter, güey. Este es todos, o sea, todos están perros. Los... El que dijo el Fu también. Pinta el pavimento de uno de esos pinches colores, güey. Es que estoy tratando de imaginarme como tenemos el todo en blanco, ¿cuál? So apparently they do this every Saturday, the first Saturday of the month at Home Depot. You bring your kids and they do arts and crafts and it's free. I should have brought the girls here. You guys are not gonna believe what just happened. So I have been looking for this pocket knife forever. And last week I came and bought this one because I couldn't find this one specifically. And I was at the cash register opening it up. I don't know why I decided to do it there. And I split my hand open. Watch, let me show you. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Look at that. Yep, yeah, that's what happened, so... Thank you very much. My goodness, now I have to go to work. 
Ah. So this is apartment number two, and we started working on it about two, maybe three weeks ago, and we're moving quite fast, especially because this is the last one. We're just focused on finishing. In a little bit, when the rest of the guys get here, we're gonna go and look at number four so you guys can see where we're at. It's basically done. We just need to get all of the tools out of there and bring them here. The problem with that is that we're working here and we have a bunch of tools here, so it's just difficult to be working around all of this stuff. But we knocked down basically the entire kitchen already, got the floor out. Uh, today, we're gonna work on We're gonna work on this shed for the water heaters. So we're gonna have to just basically cut the bottom, all the bad stuff out, and then we're gonna add new walls and probably patch the top so that no water leaks. Oh, grass is already growing, it's annoying. Uh, right now what I'm working on is building the kitchen cabinets. So I'm gonna start building these so they can put them on, so they can install them either I'm not gonna, I'm not even sure. It's probably gonna happen tomorrow or during the week, next week. But uh, the guy that's knocking them down is taking the old ones out to a workshop. So even though they're dirty, it doesn't matter. They're just for tools. And, and that's it. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We already cleared out the carpet, cleaned the floor. So we're gonna start doing the tile here pretty soon. As Soon as the tile is done, we're gonna work on the lighting, which is almost done. Painting, new blinds. The backsplash is almost done here as well. That's moving along pretty fast. And like always, once we're done with the cabinets <clears throat> and the sink, the, um, the guy that brings the quartz, which is the countertop, and uh, me and Joaquin are gonna do the backsplash. This one looks a little bit more easy because on the last one that we did, it had a little bit of wall right here. So we had to add some. This one's gonna come just across and down, over and under. So this one's gonna be the easiest one out of all of them. But this was just me checking in, showing you guys what the advance here was at the apartments. Like I told you, we picked the colors for the doors. So we have the baby blue over here. We have the pink one at the end. And I don't even know if I showed you guys what these look like. But anyways. That's the blue one. This is the pink one. And then we're going to go with the avocado green and the yellow. So obviously the apartments are going to get painted white. And once all the doors are painted, it's going to look the way it's supposed to. We're going for like a, like a ranch theme. And he wanted the pastel colors for like an Easter theme. And I think it's gonna work out. So I'm gonna get to work. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys apartment number four until we're done with everything, absolutely everything. And then from there, um, probably later today, like I said, we're gonna take the girls to get some pizza at Peter Piper because they have like a little arcade area and it's pretty big, so I know they love it. After there, later in the evening, I'm gonna call my sister, see if she wants to come with us and go to, um, a jump house or a trampoline house and call it a day but so far we're doing pretty good except for my wound which i think is going to be all right stop bleeding so we're good okay se me hace que ahora sí está i mean sorry otra vez es en inglés i think i think we're ready to go to the trampoline park, park. okay y estás lista yes yes que mm, i'm ready estás ready tú ahora está ready Yes, it's already. Okay. All right. So it's about that time. This is my my little microphone jig, because I can't always have it here. If I have it here, then you can't hear what they said. A ver, háblale, a ver, casi. Es el corridazo de la CH y la pizza. No. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. ¿Estás lista para brincar, baby Ari? Okay, I'm going to say Friends, so we are bringing the girls to Sky Zone. And this is located on 7th Street in Camelback. So it's considered Uptown Phoenix. They, we just got them the daily pass. So it's $30 for Cassidy. 
and fifteen dollars for Ari because she's three years old. And we're thinking about getting the membership. The minimum is three months, so we're probably gonna do that for this summer. This summer, and we got the day pass to see if they like it. If they like it, and the girls approve it, we're gonna get them that membership. It's only ninety bucks for each one, and it's gonna get them through the the summer because the heat out here is intense. So let's go ahead and check it out. ¿Están listos, Bukis? A ver, vamos a entrar a ver si es cierto. Cierran a las. Oh. Wow. So after hours, like after 6.30, I think they have this glow in the dark theme. So check this out. How much me acaso ir a tu shirt as a glow? Y la de Larry también? Wow. Okay, vamos a ver qué onda. All right, so we just got some information. Fridays after eight, they have what's called glow. So you're required to have a white t-shirt or something that glows in the dark just for their safety because the lights are off. They do this Friday and Saturday after 8 p.m. And on Sundays, it's the entire day. The socks were five bucks for each one of them. And they have a shoe rack here where you can leave their shoes or you can pay for a locker and just ensure the safety of your shoes if that's a concern. But you cannot bring your own socks. You have to pay for these. So at least I can see. A ver tu sock, Cassidy? A ver si. So these socks have grip on the bottom. Esos también. They have a special grip. So that's why they make you wear these. ¿Están listas para brincar? Vamos pues. Yo nunca he venido aquí, así que no sé qué onda. Mira casi tienen un slider allá. ¿Van a ir para allá? Se me hace que está cerrado. Puede hacer una backflip casi. No? On a front flip? Tu Ari? No. Está más grande que el de la casa este casi. Puedes brincar más alto que el de la casa. Brinca si lo te ventas para allá a la bolsa. Dale. Es que agarra el vuelo. Dale. ¿Quieres tratar tú, Ari? ¿Quieres hacer jump? Dale, pues brinca. Okay, so my initial thoughts here of the Sky Zone is it's a little small. They have like a little toddler section here, playground. And then you come over and they have these four squares where they can obviously jump. Uh, they don't have the foam path or the foam pit, but they do have this little inflatable bag where they can jump from. And then there's like an, another square area over there where they can just kind of leap, leap, leap get to the wall, leap back, and that's where that ends. 
So besides this big area where they can leap, 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 they have a play zone area for, I guess, adults. Then they have a basketball court here, just so you can dunk it. They have another full court here where you can play a game uh, for toddlers. And then they have one for adults right next to it. And that is the end of this part. So it's not that big, but it's, it's also not that full. So as long as there's not a lot of people in here, I think you'll be all right. They also have that slide over there, but it looks like it's out of service. And they have like a little zip line that comes across the entire building. But so far, it looks like the girls are having fun and they like it. So we're going to check out here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll check you guys in the next one. Deuces. So apparently the slide was not out of service. There just wasn't somebody up here to attend it. But we asked them if we can ride it and we got a crew of people over here interested in riding it now so you have to grab like a mat so you can slide a little bit harder and then you jump out of that and land in this airbag cassidy's gonna be up first no, no puedes, baby. Está muy peligroso, baby. No es para Wookie Babies. Sí, 